We're so excited about this fashion show. This is one of our exclusive parties for our brides that we're doing, and Justin Alexander himself is here. This one is called The Art of Waiting, and that's because that's what Justin called his collection that we'll be showing in the fashion show here tonight. And we thought there's so many beautiful things for those who wait and learn to wait well in their life. One of those beautiful things in this universe that waiting has to do with is pearls. So we thought we'd go with the pearl decor. You'll see pearl details throughout, and our guests will actually receive a freshwater pearl as well. But there's beautiful florals by Gatherings by Mercer, and the gowns from Justin Alexander are going to be fabulous in this show. We can't wait to show you. But this wine tasting that we're doing with these cakes have been paired perfectly by Carolyn Covington, and wait till you get to see these people experience this wine tasting. The cakes from Icing Baking Company, fabulous, unbelievable, and uh, it's gonna be just a, such a fun event to see it all come together. So this is the art of waiting. I'm Carolyn Covington, I'm a wine educator, and I am here doing the wine tasting tonight. We have all Virginia wines. So I have my own wine tasting business. I absolutely love doing events like this. We have four different wines to pair with the different wedding cakes and it's going to be delicious. So can't wait. Of course, if you haven't met Justin, Justin and your, you wanna go introduce your team? Absolutely, this is Julia. She's the account manager for Ava Loren. So she works very closely with Ava Loren team. Taylor um, manages our social and also influence with talent and relationships. So Taylor, Julia, and Justin. Tonight is a very much about the virtual show we're putting on. So you guys get to be the studio audience, uh, kind of like in a TV show, just know that. So get, you know, show your best side and uh, get ready for the cameras to be on you a bit because you'll be in some of the shots as well for sure. But it's gonna be super fun. If uh, when we do the gowns, when the girls come out, the, the models come out in the dresses, we're gonna be all up in this show. So we're gonna be with cameras coming up and showing the details of the dress and all of that. And then some of your expressions we're gonna try to capture too. So don't feel alone in that whatsoever. Just enjoy it and have fun. And uh, we can't wait to actually get started. We'd love to hear from you what your favorites are of these collections. We're always wanting to know what it is that you see that you're like, oh my goodness, that. Um, and what Justin's so great about is if there are things that our brides are looking for, and uh, we can absolutely call him up and just say, hey, we're also looking for this. And they'll create things for us that we just absolutely love in the next season. We'll see them at market and we're like, yes, that's what we're looking for. So this is our first wine that we'll be pouring for the night. Veritas is one of my favorite wineries in Virginia. Sparkling Rosé is one of my favorites, so we're going to go around and pour these for you guys now. I always say, when in doubt with wine and food pairing, if you're not really sure, start with the sparkling. I'll just show all of my friends on Instagram quick. This is our next wine we're going to be pouring. So this is the Seven. It's called Seven from King Family Vineyards, and this is going to be a port-style wine. So we don't actually call it a port wine because we're not in Portugal, but it is a port style and it's made with 100% Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot is a unique grape that grows really well in Virginia. It's a teeny tiny berry with really thick skins. It has high acidity, but those thick skins really give it a lot of tannin and a lot of color. So it's really perfect for making an intense wine like the one you are about to try. Um, so this wine is made by macerating the juice on the skins to give it that color, give it that extraction, those tannins. So this is definitely a wine where you just need a little, like a one ounce pour of because um, it's gonna be high alcohol and high residual sugar. Because we have residual sugar, it's gonna go great with dessert. Um, so with the chocolate cake, what's gonna happen is we're really just gonna be bringing out those chocolatey notes because in this wine, it's going to have notes of dark berries, blackberry, blueberry, cedar, some leather, and then it's gonna go really nicely with something rich and intense. As I kind of mentioned before, when we're pairing wine and food, you want to match intensity. So having a really rich, intense cake with a really rich, intense dessert wine. This wine would not be very good with your pink champagne cake because it would overpower it a little bit. It would kind of mask those delicate fruit flavors, that light, airy sponge. So you really want it to be with something rich like this. Um, as I kind of mentioned before, 
I love like a really bold, you know, red wine that's dry and tannic. But this, that also would not be super good with a chocolate cake like this because it's so dry. So you really kind of need that sweetness component to balance everything out. What do we think of this pairing? Is it good? Do we like it? It's intense, right? It's really rich. You might need some water to wash it down a little bit because it's rich, right? But you just, it's like one of those things where you just need like a couple bites and a couple sips and then you're like totally satisfied. So, okay, good. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that one. The Art of Waiting was very much the same story that I just described. So it was just waiting for life's precious moments. For us, in my life, it was waiting for our baby boy to arrive. But the waiting, the moments before walking down the aisle, the waiting before a fashion show, um, like this evening, and um, just the feelings of that. So the dresses this season are all named for names that mean patience, waiting, and things of that nature. So yeah, a lot of texture a good amount of sparkle, and as always, modern architectural styling. So we have some beautiful, like, couture seeming that I think I'm um, going to take the audience's breath away. So our last wine of the evening is going to be the Pasito. This is from Barbersville, and this is going to be a special dessert wine, and this is going to be a 2019 that we'll be trying. Um, so this one is going to be Moscato Autonel grapes and Vidal Blanc grapes. So two white grapes, very perfumed, very aromatic that make up this wine, but they're made in a really special way. So we're pairing this one with vanilla cake and vanilla mousse with mango. So this is going to be awesome because this wine, if you guys want to go ahead and give it a smell and give it a taste once you have a pour of it, um, like I said, very complex and tons of tropical fruit notes on the nose. It's a very, it's a very sweet wine, right? So you just need like a little taste of it. It smells amazing. It smells so tropical. It has this luscious gold color to it. So this is gonna be awesome with a really fruity cake. Um, it's gonna be great because it's gonna bring out more of those fruit notes. Those mango notes are gonna match. One's not gonna overpower the other one. So everyone go ahead and give it a taste. Let me know what we're thinking on this one. Okay, good. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. That's all that I have for the wines. I hope that you guys continue to enjoy those and the cakes. Amazing. I will tell you the last gown that you saw that had the super long train also has a detachable element. So the, um, the lace that's on the end of that train comes off and so it's a really nice little change. There's lots of cool secrets like that that we want to know. Justin, is there anything else that you want to tell us before the second half of the show about Signature or anything like that? Well, I kind of, I spoke mostly about Signature before, uh, but I absolutely love this collection. I mean, Signature for me is like my biggest passion. I love the fashion component of dresses, but like you said before, one of my favorite things is working with brides like this weekend, getting feedback and kind of inspiring the new collection. So again, thanks so much for having me and I hope you love the show. Wonderful, here we go. So the second half of the show, The Art of Waiting, featuring Justin Alexander and Justin Alexander signature gowns. Let's see them. This dress right here, the name is Pledge. Pledge, yes. Talk to me about that name. Pledge was based on the commitment and of love and marriage and the promise that you make to one another. So that's how Pledge was named. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love that. And I love the sleeves here. Um, talk, can you tell brides what those sleeves are called? And like, can you do that with any dress? You can add sleeves like you that? You can add sleeves. So for Justin Alexander Signature and Justin Alexander, we absolutely do customizations. Um, so that's something that we work on with uh, our retail partners. So I know that you guys love customizing dresses. Yeah. Your brides have so much creativity as your stylist, so we absolutely love working with you on making our dresses even more unique for your brides. Amazing. So, yeah. I have one more question. A long sleeve dress like this, talk to me about the choice of fabric, because movement is always a question that brides have when there's long sleeves, like can I move in this dress? And tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, one. absolutely. First of all, uh, Debira is also another one of my favorites. Oh, gorgeous. And it does come in a, a non-sleeve option, which is also nice. But, Mikado's a traditional bridal fabric, 
that has a lot of structure, so we're able to get beautiful shape. But here you have a stretch version of it, so it really gives you a little bit more movement to dance the night away. Love that. Do you know how many times brides will say, I want sleeves, but a lot of the dresses that are designed with sleeves, you can't move past this. And what I love about this stretch Mikado, it's so clean and regal looking, but she can move her arms and she's comfortable. Justin, thank you so much for sharing this night. The rest of you guys who are here, give him a round of applause for thank the Thank you so much for having me, Wendy. It's so great to be here. Thank you for joining us tonight for the show, and we'll see you at the next party, Able to Brides. Don't miss it. See you then. Bye.